Hey YouTubers, Captain Kenny here, the Taft Farmer. As the summer heat lingers on, so does the issues I have with the 1999 Chevy pickup I have. It's a 3500 heavy duty. The daggum hydraulic brake assist is leaking now. So I'm going to do a seal kit on it without taking the entire pump off the truck. I'm going to pop the master cylinder off and then I'm going to unscrew and split the hydraulic brake booster assist so y'all stay tuned I'll show you that you can do it on the truck I've done it once before on my old truck but I totaled it out and I'm sure we can do it on this one y'all stay tuned okay I hope that video is close enough because that way it's not going to be in my way so what we're going to do is unbolt the master cylinder off of the hydraulic brake assist Hopefully we can just push the master cylinder out of the way. It's always good to bust these loose with a ratchet and not use your electric tool. It's not really designed for a lot of torque. Although it does, it does torque them down pretty good. Wiring. Lines are two different sizes. This is a 16. But, you know, I've got one of those tools, and I might be able to use that one again, but we'll see. It doesn't really matter if it spills out because it's been leaking and uh, I'm going to have to clean all this stuff up. Anyhow, I'll take it to the car wash. Clean all that off. Okay. Now, leaking right here. It's running right out from around this seal. And what we'll do is we'll split the pump in half, pull it off, and replace that seal on the inside of it.
this. It just comes off that rock. Push rod and spring right there. Just leave that right there. As you can see, this uh, thing right here that is pressed in actually just about fell out. And it's just sitting there. So what we'll do, get our hook tool and uh, pop that seal out. It's right here. Stop. I checked with all of them, even the dealership. Bought this online, 29 bucks free shipping. They delivered it the next day. It's basically the seal that you need. To do this without scoring anything. side facing out. seal here on this piston in there too. With a spring. So we'll need a screw to get it started to hold everything in place. We're going to slide the spring in afterwards. How do you like that? I don't know if that's the correct way to do it, but that's the way we're going to try it.
probably about 25 foot pounds. This is a 10 inch ratchet. This is actually about 12 inch. So it doesn't require. Always have to torque, click, 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 click. How about that? Click, click. Click, click. Click, click. Okay, they're all torqued. Okay. Now what we'll do is we'll install this plunger. Okay, she's in there. What do y'all think? This goes on first. Then that. Okay. okay. There. Now the bracket. trick is, is can we reuse this we'll slide that back on like that now we'll put this on first slide that down there like that slide that puppy on there pull this you could use a pair of dikes and squish that if I can find my tool. And is the uh, tool I was looking for is hiding. So what we'll do is we've got snips, flat sided front snips, I don't know what they're called, but they will pull that together just like it needs to be. Okay, she looks good there. Snap this back in. Washers on there. This is a sixteen on this side. Well, I keep track. These don't have to be wrenched out real hard.
Okay, we are all bolted back together. Let's fill the uh, power steering up. We're going to fire it up and see if we fixed it. We'll dry this all off. Yes, those are my old underwear. As in our earlier video, there's the relay I installed that operates the fuel pump. That's another story. We're still having some issues. Either some bubbles or something now is appearing in the daggum startup sequence. As if I start the motor, it stumbles for about 15 seconds or so, and then smooths out and never does it again. So. I don't know what's going on with it, and I have not figured it out yet. So there you have it, a hydro brake booster, rebuild while it's on the truck. It cost me 29 bucks, and I'm back on the road. I appreciate you watching. I hope this helps you out. Leave me a comment down below, and there'll be more videos because this truck falls apart on a daily basis, it seems like. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. This is Captain Kenny signing out as the Taft Farmer.